it falls in line with the classic Lifetime holiday movie. There is no difference in our film except that it's two men that fall in love. If you had told 12 year old me that I would grow up and I would be out and I could have a career and a husband beyond that, that we would get to star in a movie together, surrounded by friends and allies. And, and, and then Fran Drescher was playing my mother. I mean, like, it, it's, my, it's mind blowing. Fate that we crossed paths. Fate for Kate. And I'll just lead you to boys to it. It was a good role on the page in the script, but when you have Fran, she just like elevates yeah. it to such a such a crazy. She finds level. comedy in things that are not written funny. Everything she does is funny, so it was amazing to watch her work and to just be part of the process with her. When I saw him, I almost died. I'm sure it was just all in your head. No, literally, I fell down the stairs. <laughs> you okay? I'm fine. I think we were really happy with that aspect and Lifetime's <clears throat> commitment to that authenticity. I mean, these movies aren't exactly known for their realism, but I think Lifetime is definitely committed to telling these stories authentically, mm -hmm. down to, you know, casting gay actors in the lead roles. We had a gay director, a uh, gay writer, writer is gay, gay EP. Honestly, getting paid to kiss your spouse <clears throat> is not the worst gig in the world. Yeah. My sister and I's relationship has been really strained because her and her husband are very conservative and don't talk to their kids about gay marriage. And so it's, I mean, I, I truly don't even have a relationship with her or them anymore, which is so heartbreaking. It was really incredible to do this movie where there was this community that was so open and accepting of these two people who loved each other. It didn't matter that it was two men. It didn't matter to the mom. It didn't matter to the brother who is in the military. It was so refreshing and so nice to kind of escape into that world. And I think that LGBTQ people deserve that story. We're one of a couple LGBTQ holiday films this year, which is incredible. It's so cool to be a part of one of them. We are only one story in the LGBTQ plus community. I hope that Lifetime, and I think that they will because they've been so great about telling this story. I hope that they do tell a story that centers around a trans person or a non-binary person or, you know, queer people of color. I think it's really significant that it's Lifetime because Lifetime is such a family-friendly network. This is just a really powerful example that gay people aren't just family-friendly, they are your family. They're in every family. Mm -hmm.